again, we don't really come to this playground. And that's honest, it's right around the corner from my house. We do not come to this playground. Um, I don't walk on the street. Um, the girl, if you just recently heard, um, she was carrying a child. She was, I think she was about four months pregnant. She died like right up the street from this playground. Um, she was shot and killed. So me and my 18 month old, we did not come here. And it was built, you know, for the children and for us. But because, you know, the activity that's going on that, you know, it didn't used to necessarily go on here. Once the playground was built, you know, seeing kids around, it kind of pushed them away. But at this point, it's just kind of like, it's here and you know, people who live here and here, they come here, but I don't feel like it's safe. I don't, um, I walked down to the, to West Park, um, we passed it in the tour. Um, but I don't, like I said, I don't feel like it's safe. Um, it's built and it's, it's not being used. Like what, we should have come in here, it's nice, it's hot out. We should have come in here and seen kids playing. So where are they? So, um, I think that's all I have. To no, no, say. no, you gotta tell the story. Oh, my but, story? Yeah, so you Student, I start at Pitt in August for an education program. I wanna be an English teacher. Um, and Northside Properties definitely made a way for me. I moved back from college back to Cincinnati. I was pregnant. Um, I really didn't have anywhere to go. And at the rate that I, my living wage, at the rate that I was making money, I couldn't afford to pay, you know, 575 and, you know, market rent. So I went to Northside Properties and there was a list, like, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, need the opportunity. So I got on the list and I moved in in January and it's just been a big help because at the rate that I'm making money, it's not, I couldn't afford it. I couldn't have a one year old. I have my expenses kind of exceed my income and I wouldn't be able to afford to live. I know for me personally, I would even either be living with an aunt who already has three kids or in a shelter. And that's just the reality. So um, I'm here and I'm so grateful for Northside Properties and I'm so grateful for what, you know, we're trying to do in the Northside because it is a community and they're doing this development down here, but they're forgetting about us. Like this, like they said, this is our community. Like there were houses down there before there was, you know, buildings and businesses. So we're the most important part, I feel. Without us, who's gonna work in there? So, you know, they can make it livable for us and make beyond livable, make it successful, make us, you know, appreciate life a lot better. And, you know, the negative perception about low income housing that, you know, oh, only young black people live in low income housing or people that don't want to do anything with themselves. That's a perception and it's negative. And if you come in and you step in, you'll realize that it's not just me. Everybody wants something out of life. Everybody's trying to do something. So.